my uncle's house, right? I just came from the airport, um, and this is my uncle's house. This 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 uncle is on my mother's side. Okay, he's the only uncle I have on my mother's side in Trinidad. I have a three more living abroad. The reason I'm doing this is to show you what is possible in the future generations for your children. It's not likely going to happen with the older ones but the younger ones who are being educated going to school well this is the kind of life you could get by being consistent going to school and doing hard work this is one of my uncles here who was one of the hardest working individuals you'll ever meet right was driving in a car and my brother asked him with all the hard work that he has been doing He's supposed to be a multi-millionaire. He's supposed to be rich. And what he said, what my uncle said, was that good people could never be rich. He has a house. He has two. He has another house right here. Now I'm going to show you guys this house. This is by my uncle's place. Now this is not my uncle's house, right? This is a, a house that he built on the other side of the hill. That's my uncle's house. And this is a house that um, someone is staying in. This, um, his uncle. See how simple it is? So you see, this is the entrance. This is the entryway. So nice and very simple. This is one of the rooms. Okay. I have an uncle inside here, so I'm not going to show him too much. You can see his feet, right? And this is the bathroom right here. A bathroom. Let me see. If I can see the bathroom. Bathroom. Alright. A very small house. I think that this might be a 20, 20 by 20 foot. About that 20 by 20 feet two bedrooms bathroom a small living area it doesn't have a kitchen here though but I'm sure that if they really wanted to a kitchen could go right here all right nice calm peaceful you're not hearing any too much noise very calm very peaceful all right okay this is his land. I just took you through just a piece of his garden. He has a piece of land in the right. back where he has a pond. He has okay. fruit trees. And as you can see behind me, see how he manages. And it's not my uncle alone. I should also point out that my aunt Michelle, his wife, has a big part to play in this. If it wasn't for Auntie Michelle, I don't know what my uncle would be doing, honestly. <laughs> Right. right now my uncle is making a meal for me so I'm missing out on my doubles I really wanted to get some doubles I am really really craving for doubles real bad right. so this bridge runs across I see how big this bridge is that's a car so the car has to pass under this bridge right so I'm going across the bridge to the other side you all the way back there he have land all the way in the back there. Alright. He's a very respectful person. Okay, now ladies and gents, this is my uncle here. Alright. And you see this here? This is what we call Taro. Alright. I know that you might not um well, you might not see this before, but this is what we use dashin bush, right? Yeah, kalalu bush. Kalalu bush. Sweet chicken and rice. Alright. He wasn't gonna pass, he didn't know he was gonna pass at this side of see? He's a chef as well. All these things he could do. Alright, so it's a, it's a nice, this is a traditional oh, meal in Trinidad. Kalu, rice, pepper, stew chicken, and boiled plantain. When he was young, maybe in his 20s and so on, he actually bread budgies like this and sold them 
the pet shops. Now he's not going into the wild, catching them and then selling them. He have them, he bought them, he have them, but they breed. And so when they breed, he sells the young. So he's not really doing any impact on the environment or the natural environment. These are actually tame budgies that he bought in a pet shop and they started to breed. So he had, and I, I told you this, this, my uncle is very talented in this thing. He did a lot of things, he mined fishes. He is an inspiration to me, really. This is how we are going today. So how long you had those turkeys? Oh, yeah. You eating them or you just going to keep them? You can breed them? See? He's trying to breed the turkeys. I was telling you, you see? Let's go inside and take a look at the inside of his turkey house. Right, so he just got a turkey egg. Those are the turkeys. Let them come out. You let them out? No. Turkeys. So here he is. You could say that you're kind of sustainable, right? Yeah. Where is the latch for this? Oh shucks, let me see that. So he grows that turkeys, layers, broilers, broilers common fowl, or what you all will say, yard fowl, frizzle fowl, that's a frizzle fowl, silky, silky, silky. All right? Americana is for blue eggs. We, we are at these? Yeah. Blue eggs, you hear that one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look them there. They're really kind of bluish. White. Slightly turkey eggs. Yeah. Slightly blue. This is the turkey eggs? Yeah. Turkey eggs. You, you get any young ones from them yet? No, not as yet. They're now starting late, so. Yeah, it's fall. So what y'all could be inspired from, hopefully y'all could see as well from here, this is how things are organized. Very well organized, wouldn't you say? One, two, three, four, five pens. I was just telling them that um, they used to mine these budgies and breed them. Yeah. At what age you used to do them? What age? Yeah. 25. See, in his 20s. He got these and will breed them and then resell the babies when they get bigger back to the, the, um, the pet shops. So if you catch kayas and somehow could breed kayas, there's no need for you to go and take kayas out of the environment and sell them to sell them to pet shops. That's it. Okay. I ain't protein for all the animals. There are some trees up across there. Mm -hmm. Now this is kind of important for you all to see because you a lot of people tend to depend on just um, the bark feed but this is what gives them better health right but and th these are really uh, for their own use it's not ready to sell you know, everything everybody is about money 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 this is about saving money so you're spending less money on the feed 
these animals are going to be healthier because they're eating something that is natural right and it is not as i said about if he wanted to sell these chickens he could get sale okay but this is really to pre to really save money okay. oh yes you also get fresh eggs on a daily basis if you have a plan like this or if someone is is willing to do something like this in the, in the community the government is going to sponsor these sorts of things. First cut, teak wood. Right? Teak wood, first cut. This is not... To make the butter and the butter. Okay. Use carbonite. <laughs> See? So all of these things is accessible. It is accessible. The, the government would sponsor programs like this. Right? But you have to prove that you could do it that's the whole thing about it right this is you could have much more than this you could have you know a next egg what is that a next egg look at the eggs yeah look at these eggs said these you got these eggs for over two days and you have the turkey egg you can you can put them back to the hat right so you can brew up is it is it you gotta hatch them. Turkey right, eggs. Right. So this is why I'm, I'm talking about when it comes to sustainability. It's not only about doing things to make money. It's also doing things to save money. Okay? Remember, this is just day one. I only come here straight from the airport. And I came here. And I'm showing the potential that exists for not just the Armenian people, but Guyana as a whole. Guyana has the resources to do more than this. More than it. But if they don't change the mentality, change the way that they do things, I'm not saying that I'm a perfect person. I'm not saying Trinidadians better than anybody. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there needs to be some sort of integrity to be doing things of this level right you have to have discipline you have to be responsible i know you all know me whenever there's an event in the community i am usually there usually before time you cannot mess around with these animals if you're feeding them you have to feed them at the right time you have to do everything according to a schedule right and those things have to change and event this is why even in schools you have to set the example in schools i don't want to go too far because it might start to offend people right but this is one of the most hard working individuals you'll ever find in this country not just in my family in the country a lot of people don't work to this level a lot of people don't see things like how he does, right? And when he does something, he wants to always put his best foot forward. So he will try to find ways of saving money. So all of this material is actually used material. That's what he just told me. So Asha, what does scrub his skin with? Mm -hmm. That's the next cucumber, like a wild cucumber. Alright, so you make a move there one time? You wanna go and take a ride, Dwam? A ride where? With the ETV. Why you wanna move my car then? No, I wanna see if it could start. Well, let it start. Alright, let's do this. That's the noise I'm calling mechanic or something. How old this guy is? Mm -hmm. This guy is about 20 years. 20 years old? Why? Huge. This is important for you to understand. You don't have to get new things all the time. Just because you get money and you're getting coming out Huge. with millions of dollars from the, the thing. You don't just buy things and, and things. This is a used vehicle. And watch the condition. He has this for over 20 years. You don't even have a good garage. But you're buying cars. These things you have to think about. Sorry if I sound like I'm boof, boofing all you up. This is what we do here. This is how we save money. This is how we, we live a better life.
cool. This is the this is the thing about Trinidad is that our lands in Trinidad have a lot of hills. Alright. So you have to go all the way down there. See that's the hill? And come up here. And it's so nice to have uh, ATV. So in today's um, little adventure you get to see my uncle and the life that he lives okay it's it's hard work as i said i will say it over and over again it is hard work um, one of the things that people tell us or say is that for every drink you, 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 you have every drink you take how much bricks you would you have gotten for that drink i'm not saying that you stop drinking entirely but you have to moderate so these are the things that people sacrifice for in the long run these are the things that you work for and if you have a family that is even more important because you are working for them Red. And they are puppies by the way. These are the small ones. They are still puppies. See how they are nice and they want to play. Yes, puppy. These dogs are very loving, very committed, very dedicated. But in the wrong hands, they are killers. So you have to be very careful with people who own dogs like this. Okay. I'm glad to see that the village is getting, you know, um, some exotic breeds of dogs in the community but they need to have training for those dogs they call it socializing so socialization otherwise you will get a little bit more aggressive i would like to thank uncle derek and auntie michelle for helping me while i was in guyana they are an inspiration and a shining example of what hard work sacrifice and persistence will bring thanks for watching